Hey guys, it's Lauren. Today I'm going to be showing you um, kind of my process and journey of making my big like sorority paddle. So many people can spend like upwards even more like than $300 doing their sorority paddles. I wanted to make mine. I love like DIY arts and crafts and I also think it's really thoughtful to hand make your paddle for your big. When I was first looking into the process of making the paddle, I was like looking on YouTube a bunch for like inspiration. I honestly couldn't find that many videos on it and so I just wanted to make a video for you guys it's not really an in-depth tutorial but I just think it's really cool to see the process and like see where I started with and how I got to the end product I'm really proud of the paddle that I made and hope you guys enjoy let's hop right into it so this is the day I first received the base of the paddle I did buy this off of an Etsy seller that's known to do paddles so I just put the white primer on this I'm not sure if it's smooth enough like what is that but now I'm going to flip it on this back and do primer on the back side. Okay, I am vlogging somewhere to add to my diaries. Basically, I have the paddle. Um, I did prime it on both sides. It's white. Today, I am going to paint it pink. I just bought paint from Joann's. Four bottles of this poodle skirt pink, which is going to be the main color of this paddle. I love pink. It's this like baby pink color. Hopefully, it's not too pink for my big, but... I grabbed this color called a natural buff. I got two of it. I think this will be a cute like llama color thing. And then I got this color. It's like looks very similar. This is more of like a white cream. This is more of like a pack of llama color. So I think I'm gonna end up using this, but I got this just in case we want to use this instead. And then I got a bottle of metallic gold paint. This is so expensive, but um, I'm gonna use this for the little stars on the paddle. And yeah, I think I'm gonna begin painting her. I don't know if I should use a brush or if I should use a sponge brush. Sponge brush will be a lot smoother, but I love using brushes more. We're gonna paint her today. Okay, so I am in the garage. We just sanded this down, and now I'm gonna sit right here and paint it because I am too impatient to wait till tomorrow morning. I'm just like so excited to get progress on this, so. I'm gonna be painting it. I bought four of these bottles from Joann's. I'm gonna be using a foam brush today. I'm gonna be using this. I think it's a lot slower than a paintbrush, but I think it'll look nicer and leave less brush marks. India has joined me. All right, I'm gonna start with the sides and then do the bottom and then the front. Okay, so I have successfully painted the first. This is the back side. As you can see, there's a little bit of white splotches here and there. I'm gonna go back and do a second coat on this whole thing. In the meantime, I'm going to paint the front. Um, I am going to paint the side pink. Afterwards, if I have time, I will literally go over the whole thing again for a second cut. But let's get painting. A little update, I have painted both sides now. I am going in with the second coat, starting with the sides and the back again. After I finished painting the base, I went to my aunt and uncle's house and they have a laser cutter so they helped me cut out all the letters and the words and the llama on top. We probably spent like two or three hours or something like that so I really appreciate their time and help for doing this with me. So then off of that machine, each of the wood pieces including every single letter had this like tape background onto it um, so I had to peel that off for every single letter. I didn't show much of it though but here's the llama because it's satisfying. going to spray all of this. And then now is to paint the alpaca. Here's the image that I went off of. I'm about to glue these letters, so this is the gold big O, and then I'm about to glue the white letters on top of it. It's kind of what it looks like for this one. So it's like raised, and then I'm going to glue this right here. So lots of gluing. I'm going to be using this wood glue. I have no idea how to use it, but I'll try. And yeah, I got an unhappy doggo. Here's the draft. I just glued these letters. Got a... Figure out how to glue these. It's kind of like a mock-up of, of the paddle. Makes me so excited. 
And then I'm gonna paint the little A right now. To be honest, I think gluing all the letters down was one of the hardest parts. It was really hard to measure everything and get the spacing correct, getting everything in a straight line, and that was probably the most tedious part for sure. It was just a lot of work putting glue on the letters and putting it down with the correct measurements. Oh, the gold, gold glows in the light. Wait till you put stars on it. Okay, I just used some Posca paint pens and drew all of this. Don't know how I feel about the outline. The ears are a little messy. Maybe I'll try to clean that up. I have my reference picture right here, and I'm watching the British Baking Show. But yeah, she's all done. I'm gonna add like a little white gleam in the eye, probably with puffy paint. Okay, I added some white little accents. Finally looks like a real llama. And I added some more pink shading right there too. It's kind of cute. <laughs> we got the big llama glue on top. It's so tall. <laughs> yeah! Okay, you can't even see. It's not even a good view, but I'm gluing down all the little stars on my pig's paddle. Um, we are the spacey line, so, you know, stars is a must. And my nickname is also Starlet, so how can I not? And then, last but not least, I'm just putting on the finishing touches and gluing the stars on. Yeah, I finished! Here is the paddle with all the little stars on it. I love how reflective the gold is. That looks so pretty in the light. There we go. Oh, the cute little llama! So now the last step, all I have to do is basically spray it with like a clear coat. And yeah, I'm almost done. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm a little sad because ever since I sprayed on that clear gloss coat, um, the gold isn't as sparkly and shiny as it used to be. It used to be like super gold and reflective. I think this spray paint kind of messed it up. So I'm a little sad about that. But So I did have an issue with the eye in the solstice. It fell out. I had to paint it in. So, I don't think it looks too bad from far away. You can't really tell. But, yeah. Here it is. I can't even get it in one shot. It's so big. Oh, yeah. So, here it is. All right. I just finished my biggest paddle. Oh, my gosh. It's so cute. Okay, this is the completed paddle that I made for my big. So, it says Big O. Her name Nickname number a kitty by Litho. My name, nickname, number. And I put little stars all over it because I'm Starlet and she chose that nickname for me. And you know, stars, spacey line. Um, I was gonna put like a sun at the top for solstice, but I think the alpaca is just like cuter than a sun. I don't know. So, got a little cute alpaca. I want her to like smile when she sees this. Too. Yeah, I don't know. Such a cute face. I uh, got a little star right there to tie it all in. This paddle was two and a half feet tall. Um, with this on top, it should be like three and a half feet tall. So it's pretty dang tall. This is like how tall it is. I'm so happy. It's so cute. I handed this whole paddle. As you guys can tell, bought this big wood. Huge shout out to my aunt and uncle for helping me laser cut out basically this whole like all the words, all the letters, all the stars, and the llama as well. Huge shout out to my mom and my dad for helping me spray paint parts of this, clear coats, just like helping me transport this thing around. Um, and then shout out to myself for painting everything. So yeah, and shout out to my big for being my big. I love you and I hope you like it.